Hello all and welcome back to High Ridge Farm with me, the Walrus. As we're now towards the end of week two, due to a slight technical glitch, as in I totally forgot to press the record button during um, the Tuesday, sorry, the Wednesday, Thursday part of the episode, and I feel like an idiot. However, I was able to actually get reasonably far into the Skull Cavern. I actually got down to floor 50 with some clever use of some bombs, and he actually allowed me to end up with a reasonable amount of Iridium. So, I've actually got enough to potentially upgrade two, maybe even three tools. So, I'm feeling pretty damn good about that. Of course, I still have a few other things that I need to do at the moment, such as the quest for the uh, prismatic jelly. And I have the egg festival tomorrow, so that shouldn't be too bad. Nice and easy, pretty quick to do. Of course, there's nothing quite like beating children at a game of hunting eggs. Because that's how things go. Admittedly though, it, the whole Easter celebration thing is a bit of an unusual thing for me. Um, we don't really have anything of that ilk in the UK. Like, we don't really do the Easter bunny. So the idea of doing an Easter egg hunt Seems really peculiar, because for me, an Easter egg is a chocolate egg filled with probably Smarties or Cadbury's Buttons. Occasionally Cadbury's Cream Eggs, because those things are very dangerous and delicious. I know I've mentioned before that I'm diabetic, so a Cadbury's Cream Egg is literally the purest form of, oh god, I'm going to die, but it's so delicious. Well, it's chocolate filled with like a fondant of course it's going to be good now <clears throat> i've got a few more things that i do need to pick up and grab as we're quickly reorganizing bits of the farm now thankfully there aren't that many more cauliflowers that need to be picked just gotta wait a couple more days for them to be ready so i've been growing garlic in the place of a few of the uh, previous uh, large areas of cauliflower that were harvested which is hence why up there there is no longer a cauliflower patch and none of them decided to grow into the large one and I'd managed to harvest them all before I paid attention and just totally forgot that that was something I was looking for. Once again the walrus is not a clever man. Anyway as we quickly nip into the cave to grab some mushrooms there's some of the very important things that we have there I have a little bit of I think the sugar will probably be of milled by now which is good from the sugar beets now, of course, we're getting a large quantity more star fruit, which is fantastic, as more wine is uh, very important. I'll just harvest all this sun sunflowers, and we're going to get all these star fruits. We've got a few trees to quickly grab some fruit from. To be fair, I know I could leave it a couple of days, as the fruit trees do grow up to three of, well, hold on to three of them um, at any one time. But there we go, just quickly slap in a bit more star fruit. Essentially, this is going to turn into the ancient fruit and star fruit manufactorum. There is not going to be a... There's not a huge demand for me to have things that aren't, but I will try and hold on to seeds purely to be able to grow something out of season if required. I don't anticipate that being a thing, but every now and again I go, hmm... Somebody might want something that I physically can't grow right now. But I have the seeds for. So you never know. Okay, the inventory is full already. Great. Um, right, uh, let's see. Just grab a few more cauliflowers. I really need to sort this out. There's a lot of space to do. Uh, right. Let's go and deposit some of these uh, garlics into the soil there. That should allow me to, a little bit more freedom of space, which is glorious. That's exactly what we're after. As, of course, a little bit more inventory room is fantastic, and we've got a few more garlics that are growing a bit closer to being ready. Now, it's something that I actually personally would very much like to grow a bit more of. I'm just... Every time I remember, I'm like, oh, yes, I'm going to plant a couple of the cloves from the garlic that I have. I always forget because I end up cooking with garlic quite frequently. I don't think that's a particularly unusual thing, but it's the quantity, maybe, <laughs> is the somewhat larger issue that I have there, is I put a lot of garlic into food. 
garlic, chilies, lots of ginger. They're personal favourites. I like the added flavour. If something doesn't have garlic in it, it doesn't taste quite right. But at the same time, I'm also quite fond of making a, a good bruschetta, which I'm sure is not the correct pronunciation, as I do not speak any Italian in any way, shape or form, so I'm sure I'll get told off. Also, um, one of my friends who does actually speak Italian kept telling me off and not pronouncing it correctly at some point, I believe. Again, memory isn't uh, as one always hopes. However, that does require a lot of raw garlic. So, it's something that I indulge in every now and again. Raw garlic, lots of onions. Essentially, you don't want to try to kiss me because it's just constant garlic and onions. It's horrific. Anyway. We'll probably explain why my pets run away from me at any opportunity. Now, I'm got to try and figure out what I'd like to plant in the place of all the cauliflower that was there now. Of course, I do have uh, enough bars of iridium to create a few iridium sprinklers, which will be good, as it'll allow me to swap them out instead of the previous quality sprinklers that I have there. Now, let's just quickly sell some rhubarb. Now, I do know that I want to sell five of every shippable thing because, of course, that is uh, an achievement. Um, I think it's the multiculturalist. Can't remember off the top of my head. And I, I know full well I still haven't actually got that achievement on my copy of Stardew. On, on, I play it on Steam, but I do know I could play it on my Xbox and through my Xbox account. And maybe I should do it that way, but um, I'm quite content. I mean, easy man to please, I think is an easy way of putting it. Right, so I'm going to deposit the anchovies, the sardines back in. Sorry, we've got the hot peppers, uh, garlic. I do want to put some garlic in there. Now, what can I take out? Um, hmm. Well, let's take out the bread. I don't really need a loaf of bread. Probably could eat it. Oh, I don't want the wallpaper. Go away. I've got, I've already decorated, be gone. Uh, oops. I want to dispose of it. There we go. It's a shame that that isn't an, a source of infinite funds because of course they, they are considered as valueless, but that's how it rolls. Okay. Now I'm just gonna quickly grab those. Is calcite something that I need? I don't believe it is. And right, so. Let's head down to the southern part of the farm and visit the animals today. As we can see, we're slowly getting there with a bit more room. We've got a few more animals ready to go. I'm definitely feeling that now is the time for another pig, as we've got the space in the um, barn, and it is going to be useful for generating more of the truffle oil by harvesting more truffles which of course now that I've got my foraging skill up to level 10 they are iridium quality which is very lovely as you can see now I'm just going to make a large quantity of mayonnaise because mayonnaise it's one of those odd things I don't know about you guys it wasn't ever really a particular dressing of choice at any point as a child even now I don't really like it very much I'll have it on things, but it's very much a eh, can take it or leave it sort of thing. Okay, and as long as there's not too much of it on there, I think that's what really it boils down to. I see a lot of places where they just slather it on, and it's very much of a, but why would you put that much on? That's grim. Right, so I'm going to grab five iridium bars, because what we're going to do is we're going to go and upgrade another one of the tools now that we've got the capability of doing so. I've held it onto the goat's cheese because I want to give that to Leah. Lee? Leah? I really need to look up how to pronounce that woman's name. At the same time, there are... I have a, a couple of friends who have very distinct names that are actually traditional Irish. And it, they're lovely names, easy to pronounce. Because I know them, they've told me how it's pronounced. If you see it written down, it's there are there are letters there, and I think it makes sense, but not to me. I have that as a, a general thing because I'm dyslexic, and uh, I know that I've 
I remember reading in school and generally completely flubbing the pronunciation of Sean, spelled S-E-A-N. I was convinced it was seen. But alas and alack, this is what I get for not being able to read, apparently. Or ever having encountered the name Sean, not spelt S-H-A-U-N or S-H-A-W-N. Either way, names are confusing. It's uh, one of the reasons I'm very glad I didn't actually complete my teacher training. Because I would look at the register and go, yep, that, that, that's a name. No idea how to pronounce it. And that's generally because I do genuinely have issues reading sometimes. And it uh, is, is very infuriating. But, alas and alack. Back to farming. Now, I'm probably going to quickly go and visit Crobus because, of course, it's Friday. So, therefore, he has an Iridium sprinkler for us, which is excellent, as we definitely need one of those. Um, but for the time being, I'm going to quickly nip over to the blacksmith before I run out of time, because it is three o'clock. And I believe he closes doors at four for any upgrades and sm general smashing of rocks. So, I would like you to upgrade uh, my axe. Good sir. Excellent. So that's going to actually make getting more of the hardwood easier. And that's going to be generally a big thing for me because I need more wood. Uh, especially the hardwoods. Because then that will allow me to do the final house upgrade. As well as doing the other building accessories that I really want to get done. So let's just quickly murder a few slimes because they're there. We're looking for a prismatic one. Now, it's been a while since I've actually done this side quest bit, so I don't actually remember what they look like. As daft as it sounds, I mean, they're, they're clearly slimes, but I can't remember if they have a weird color shift or not. I think they do. I think they're reasonably obvious. But I'm also murdering these soot sprites because they do have a good chance of dropping coal, and that's definitely something I'm going to need a lot of. Oh, goodness. Go away. And we've got bat wings. Vaguely useful, especially considering like there might be some more storms coming through. And we're getting ourselves some more, um, what they're called, dwarf scrolls. Getting lots of those at the moment. Not so helpful, really. I don't really care so much for them. Now that I've actually got them all and I have the translation guide on dwarfish language. Again, not super important, but it's a thing that I have. And... The thing is, the dwarf's a weird character, I find. It, one of the hardest ones to gain a, a relationship with. Only because you have to actively go to him. Same with Linus. They, they're out of the way. And that's what makes them slightly harder. Especially for somebody like me, who's um, quite scatterbrained. And unless I... I mean, I was going to say, I, unless I plan stuff out, I don't often do them. Which is actually kind of something I should really do with Stardew Days. I should actually sort of say, right, I'm going to do this today. This is my genuine plan. This is what I'm going to try and do over the next couple of days, blah, blah, blah. But the trouble is, being so scatterbrained as I am, I end up going, aha, this will be clever. And uh, end up doing some really random nonsense because I thought, oh, that'd be a good idea. And then just get lost in it. But that's, you know, just how that rolls. And at least I'm getting a large quantity of stone, I guess, while I'm in here. I'll find a slime, don't you worry. I will find it. And I will murder the absolute living heck out of it when I find one. I think that's going to be the primary issue, is finding the damn things. Because they are everywhere and nowhere all at the same time. Like, there are none of them here. How frustrating. Thankfully... Because the skull cave, not skull cave, the, the general mines have a, a definitive end. I don't have to worry about uh, opening up large holes to jump in like the skull caves. Aha! Overrun by monsters, you say? Ah, there's a, a prismatic slime. That one's colour shifting. That one's clearly the one we need to kill. So, let's go and give it a good introduction to a stabby blade. Now I know that the areas that are over on my monsters, I believe that they also are slightly tougher than normal. And being that the prismatic slime is tougher than a normal slime by a long shot, we might be here a little bit longer than I would like. However, I'm keeping it at a good arm's length at the moment, so it's not really causing me too many problems. 
and dead. There we go. So we've got the prismatic jelly. So we do need to quickly give that back to the I say back. Give that to the wizard later this afternoon, if possible. And we're getting closer to the end of the day. I mean, it's it's ten past eight. It's not that late yet. So we've still got an opportunity to do a couple more things before the end of the day, which is kind of the important thing. Being able to complete all of one's tasks that one wishes to achieve in the in a day. And uh, considering I'm a scatterbrained moron, that can be quite difficult. So I'm going to go in and visit the Weapons Guild. Let's say Weapons Guild, Adventurers Guild. Now, Guild, a hard hat, lovely. So I'm going to put that on. That would be a good idea, I think, putting the hard hat on because it looks cool. So yes, I'm going to put that on. And I'm kind of tempted to... Uh, as seen, I'm going to upgrade my weapon from the Vampiric Blade to the Lava Katana. So that should, in essence, make my life a little bit easier, particularly when I next go back to the Skull Cavern. However, I have just realised that was really dumb, because I, as soon as I get myself a Prismatic Shard, then I'll just get a, the Galaxy weapons, which are by far better in every way, shape and form. But, again, once again, I am never said I was a particularly intelligent man, and I am quite often wanting to waste my money <laughs> well it's just how i roll okay so what other things can we sort out in here so let's deposit a few monster looty things in here and we can put the uh, the sap can go in the other chest i've got I still need some more solar essences i'm running out of those well i've got 14 in total i think i could p probably use more though as I'm sure some of the later recipes are going to require a few more esoteric ingredients, and I think that that's probably under that sort of general branch of things. Definitely a bit more unusual. Right, uh, let's pop the sword away in there, and we need to visit the wizard. Good old whiz bangs. But, of course, whilst we're here, we can quickly grab all of this cheese. And I've got a couple more eggs to put in the processors. So that won't be too difficult, I don't think. Not while I'm here. It'll, it'll be easy enough to quickly do. Oh, look at that. That's a fantastic amount of mayonnaise there. That's absolutely great. Just grab all of that. Silly ducks in the way. And we will fling that in for sale. Just so we can get a little bit more extra money today rather than tomorrow as tomorrow, I fear, is going to be a little bit more rushed thanks to the Egg Festival and how that's going to impact what we can actually do during the day. As one of the major issues there, there is that the Egg Festival will take up the entire day as soon as we go into town. And that's going to be an issue because it'll mean that I have to go away from the farm earlier than I might wish to deal with the, the egg festival and not screw it up, essentially. Ah, curses, it's locked. Just as... Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, well. That's a little bit irksome, but I'll live. Uh, some nice wild horseradish, too, in fact, so that's good. I should probably get rid of anything that's not a iridium-quality forageable now as that I've got that ability uh, nicely leveled up. So, let's go and see. There's the hat mouse. I think it's a mouse. Could be a cat. Not sure. I mean, it's an animal of some description and it can certainly talk. But then again, so does the bear. And the bear is very much more articulate than that mouse creature. Almost alarmingly so. Okay, it's getting late. So... Before I forget, bearing in mind that it's Friday, the sewers are just there. I nearly forgot. It was only realising when I went to grab those spring onions, went, oh, I'm near the oh, sewer. I need to go there. I need to go and visit Krobus. And I nearly went up the ladder on, on I mean, default pattern. I was like, oh, yeah, no, I'll be fine. I'll just go up here. No by the Void Essence by accident. I wanted the Solar Essence, but oh well, I'll buy both. I 
I'm sure I can turn that into bombs or something. I'm sure it'll probably be useful for part of the slime hutch stuff, because it's an, or maybe I can make an evil statue or something. But it is late, which does mean that I'm going to have less energy tomorrow, which is a crying shame because this is generally how I run my life as it is. I don't do sleep before mm, three in the morning most of the time, which I will never deny is a terrible failing on my part as I am then end up waking up in the mid-afternoon going, oh, I feel like death. Unfortunately, I've just completely wrecked my body clock. I will admit, COVID totally messed my body clock with the lockdowns. So, I still haven't fully recovered from that. Now, what are we going to preserve in the jars? Let's preserve some potatoes. We've got a couple of bits of fish row that we can put in there. Uh, it's not going to make actual caviar, but it will make a, at least a pickled row, which is interesting. Ooh, nearly, nearly, nearly. Oh, that was close. And that's one of the odd things. Like, uh, I've got a couple of friends from Eastern Europe, and they quite often fably talk about actually getting decent uh, caviar in. Because it's one of those sorts of... It's a very stereotypically Eastern European food in the UK, at least. I don't know whether that's a, a common stereotype, at least. I mean, please, if, you, if you're from elsewhere in the world and you can give me a definitive answer, please. It, it, is it a particularly stereotypical thing of certain cultures? Or is it something that you never actually tried? Because it's interesting, is one way of putting it. It's, it's okay. Not my major jam, I think, is a, another way of putting it. It's all right. <clears throat> I can't deny that it's it's a thing. But hey, hey, right. So we've got some more watering to do, and I'm going to pop the cap away in there. And I'm going to just quickly double check something. I need to put those coffee beans away. I knew I was holding on to something that I really didn't need to. So that was my own dumb fault there. Now. Let us put the horseradish away in there. We will. I probably should have put the truffle in to make oil. That's my own silly fault. Oh well. well. I've got a couple more wild seeds, which is good because that could be useful. I, I do enjoy how peculiar because they're, they're random, and I like that. It's it's just something nice. It's a bit of everything. I think it's easy, even as the description does state. It's just. One of those things that, like, I don't really care too much what grows on the farm. So, hey, if it works, just go for it. So, we've got most of these crops here are already watered. Now, I know I need to make the green bean casserole or hot pot. The bean hot pot, whatever it's actually called in this. As part of um, some of the other food that I need to cook. I can't remember if I have the recipe for it. But at the same time, at the moment, considering it's early in the season, I've still got plenty of time to get more of them if needs be. Plus, I'll probably buy a single packet of them just to put in the house. Um, I have to have as a perpetual growth. Because anything that will repeatedly seed and flower, like the strawberries, I'm going to have at least one in the house somewhere. As I think that's a sensible and prudent way of maintaining and managing having a, a good amount of crops coming in. Especially during the winter months. And it'll also give me an opportunity to go, oh, hang on, there's Linus. I can give him a couple of hot peppers. Sort of easy thing to do. Especially if it's something like that. So like Maru's a, a sucker for strawberries. I think her father Demetrius is as well. Whether I'm correct on that, don't know. Who knows? Anyway. Now, let's have a look. Okay, so we've done the the harvest over 100 cauliflowers. That's not too much of a problem now. But this large quantity of spare land is what I'm kind of fuddled with. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it all now. Probably should do something. And of course, the Egg Festival has now begun in town, which is the only time of year that one can purchase strawberry seeds. Now, I do feel particularly dense because I thought I'd saved a packet of them earlier on. Of course, I was incorrect, which then meant I was somewhat annoyed. As it meant that I had nothing that I could quickly plant to get a repeated harvest. 
So I'm going to quickly grab... Oh, there's some coffee in me. That'll be good. I'm going to grab these. I'm going to grab some maple syrups. What next? Well, I'm sure I've got enough time to finish off the rest of the nonsense in the farm later on. So let's go into town and experience the egg festival again. I believe, rather than getting a summer hat, uh, the straw hat, I actually get some money this time. That I'm much more excited about. But I'm going to buy a large quantity of strawberries. Well, to be fair, I would actually, generally, I love strawberries. So we've got a hundred of those, and that's quite an interesting piece of art. We'll go with that. So, well, there's nothing wrong with salad, Clint. But I will admit I do enjoy more meat. Because food and meat. But, righty. So it is now time for the Easter egg hunt. So, um... The, clearly the most adulty of adulty farmers <laughs> decides to get involved and thrash the kids. Um, it does seem very odd that I'm getting involved. Considering there are others who are the eligible bachelors and bachelorettes, just sort of standing around like Shane. I mean, I could understand him not getting involved, but I could also imagine him actually getting involved if he's sobered up. You know, to... I can't remember if... Is she his daughter? I can't remember. They're, um, they're related all the same. But let's see. Let's grab that. Is there anything else? Oh, there's one behind me behind this bin here. And there's another one over there. The worst part is, because I record the audio to these after I've done the, uh, the general episode and recording, I'm spotting eggs that I've gone, oh, I missed that one. Curses. Which is really annoying because uh, it's... it's very much of a kick in the teeth and you go, oh, draft, I nearly had that one. That would have been clever. Although, to be fair, it's not exactly hard to win this one, I don't think. <clears throat> a little bit of general running around like a mad child is pretty easy, to be fair. It's, it's a thing. Okay, so we've got lots of eggs. Well, I fish rubbish out of the river. I'm a productive member of society ish yeah good old walrus of course i win i'm a walrus that's how it goes there we go Set thousand g I can certainly live with that i genuinely would have preferred the thousand g last year rather than the hat because i desperately needed money at that point so it was very much of a come on i need cash <laughs> okay so i need to do the prismatic slime which is oh this i'm pushing it close on the time front on this one i might be able to make it Let's give it a go. We'll use the, uh, the the warp totem back to the farm because I've got some stuff that I need to do, such as dealing with the animals and still harvesting more crops. And as you can see, I've managed to accidentally delete a good chunk of the footage again because I am a moron. But yes, I needed to quickly teleport back because, well, it made sense just to get this stuff sorted. Now, I've got all of those strawberry seeds, and I'm trying to figure out where's going to be a good place to plant them. Ooh, there we go. So there's a large quantity of starfruit ones. We're going to make some bank today, which is great. As, uh, of course, being able to make a large stack of money is fantastic. There we go. Yeah, I'd, I'd, essentially, I'd realized that I wasn't going to make it to Rosmodius in time. So it's very much for, ugh, let's just teleport back and get just get on with it. Now, I need one more. Now you can see that one in the corner. There we go. Now, I would like to build some more. But I think before I build any more, what I am going to do... Oh, that's somewhat annoying, but also kind of useful. What I am going to do before I build more of these kegs is to increase the size of the shed. So that then I can have enough space. What I'll probably do is end up stacking two of them, one in front of the other with a little path between them so it's easy to get in and out but you know get it done so it'll be easier to access more than anything i'm aware it's getting late as i mentioned earlier my body clock is completely foobard and uh, to be fair i think the poor walrus is having the same issue <laughs> but somehow he manages to get up at 6 a.m every day and i sleep through my alarms that's my issue what i need is somebody to come into my room and just hit me with a stick or something. 
and uh, it's be like, wake up, walrus, wake up. Absolute muppet. But so let's just quickly go down here. Let's grab that. So we've got two truffles out of that. That one, lovely stuff. Got a little bit more milk to put in the cheese presses. At least they're automatic. I don't have to do anything. My goodness, that would drive me insane. Actually having to manually do things. Ugh. Considering I am very lazy and, uh, you know, I maintain that that is the case. Ooh, a rabbit's foot. So that's useful, I guess. I'm going to be able to sell that. That's nice. Um, what I'm going to do with that right now, I'm not sure. Because I think I've used, I've used it for everything. So I'm just going to sell it for now. Right. Um, let's just reopen this up again because I managed to lock it because I'm an idiot. And teleport back up. Okay, so we're coming up to one in the morning. It's time for sleepy bye byes, pretty much. So let's just quickly double check. Is there anything else I can make? Yeah, I can't see the bean hot pot on there, so I don't know what else I need for it. Also, I can't remember what it is. I should probably have saved a parsnip because I've not actually made a parsnip soup yet. That's annoying. But it's one of those odd things. Like, I've. I've dabbled with a little bit of growing stuff of my own. I've never grown parsnips. That's something I wouldn't mind trying. I've done carrots, never parsnips. I mean, I would hazard a guess that they're very similar in requirements of care and um, others. Being that they're root vegetables, there's not really a huge amount you can do or need to do. You plant them and off you go. I'm such a keen horticulturalist, I really am. <laughs> I have friends who are very much more into it than I am, and I'm sure they'll be telling me that I'm a terrible human being. Right, so we made a fat stack of cash, mostly from the wine. I think that's really how it boils down to. I am just the... I've turned the farm in from just a basic farm into a winery. We grow all sorts of really valuable crops, which we'll just turn into booze. I mean, if it works... Is definitely one way I'd put it. Um, it's definitely an approach. Um, I'm just trying to think of any, if there's anything else that I would consider vaguely acceptable with that. Um, it does remind me of a Parks and Rec episode when they get very drunk on blueberry wine. Never having tried that myself, I, I can't say for uh, any, any form of certainty whether that's uh, likely to happen like that right so we're going to quickly go and grab these truffle oils that's lovely so that's nice to have the coffee plants aren't harvestable at the moment which is fine um what else are we going to do well let's take those out and then i can actually put the green beans away um yes that's going to be the best plan i think there we go um, I'm going to plant myself something else, but what? That's the question. There we go, let's just slap that there. Now, what am I going to put in those? I think I might put strawberries in those. You know, just have a nice little strawberry harvesting doodad on the go. I, I've i had um, wild strawberries, which are the tiny little ones. It almost tastes more like a raspberry. I've had little, little ones of those, little shoots of them in the house before. And, oh. So nice. Okay, so we have cabins, slime hutch, there we go. So it's a hundred hardwood I need for the horse um, stable, horse house. And it's going to take a little bit longer to get, especially considering I totally forgot to go and do anything to do with hardwood yesterday or the day before. Um, but I do have the wonderful advantage of some of the mahogany seeds having sprouted reasonably well in the farm. The more of those that I can get done, the better, because they will make my life so, so much easier. Now, I'm going to plant these three straws in here, and they will just grow constantly, and that'll be nice, constant strawberries. My goodness, imagine waking up in the morning and just seeing a strawberry bush at the end of the bed. You could just be like, yes, I will have a strawberry. Just as you get out of bed. Oh, oh, 
Now that is living life. That is what I want. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I just want a planter of strawberries in my bedroom. Oh. And that and maybe some... No, maybe raspberries, but they're pretty prickly. Same with the blackberry. But yeah, no, just... Yeah, you don't want blackberries. They grow... Uh, like Brambles are just absolutely wild. They just take over the entire place. It's insane. Um, but yes, strawberries. Yes, please. That's real what I want. Now, let's quickly harvest a bit more of this garlic. Lovely stuff. Excellent. Right, what next? Um, now, we've only got a couple of star fruit today in here, which is fair. We've got the ancient fruit. Lovely stuff. Uh, I'm going to pop the corn in there because what I would like to do is process the corn into a seed so I can plant it in the house rather than having um, it in here because then in the house it doesn't matter as much because this land in here is a little bit more valuable, I would suggest. There we go. And then I can grow corn in the house. Okay, and that's a bit more peculiar considering the size of corn on the cob. Um, like corn plantation, they're huge. You can see why you've got like movies like The Children of the Corn and just wandering around in those big mazes and getting lost. Very easy to do. Righty, so we're just going to water all of this miscellaneous. So we've only got a couple more cauliflowers to go. That's fine. Here we go. Let's just water that plot. I really need to plant more plants, otherwise this land is just going to waste a what? And I also need more sprinklers along here. That's the problem. I know I did this weird dog leg sort of shape only because I needed the rice to grow. And of course, it grows faster when it's next to water. So it made sense at the time. Unfortunately, right now, it makes a lot less sense. Oh, well. Once again, never claimed to be a particularly clever man. Now, so we've got a little bit more maple syrup and a little bit more pine tar. So that's good. As that will allow me to do more general shenaniganry. Now... You want two mega bombs? What on earth? I mean, uh, to be fair, they essentially seem to want to live in magma, which um, I'm very glad I don't have a big pool of that on the farm. This isn't Minecraft. I've not got just like magma flowing everywhere. Um, right, let's just sell some of this that I don't need. And I do, I'll hold on to those. I don't really need all that garlic though, do I? The thing that fuddled with my brain is the fact that you can make garlic oil, which you use to repel enemies. But I genuinely thought you could put it in the, the press thing to make it into garlic. No, of course not. Can't have that. Can't have common sense. Not in a video game. That's ridiculous. Righty. Let us go and find out what we've got available in the coop. Let's see. So we've got a few more eggs, which is great. So that's a bit more mayonnaise. Lovely stuff. We'll just sell all that. We don't need it anyway. Uh, and I think, being that it's Sunday, the gift giving has now reset. So that's good. Because moving forward, I will definitely need to sell, give some gifts to people. Um, especially ones that I managed to accidentally uh, give the wrong gift to. Sorry, George. I totally gave you the wrong spring vegetable. As I forgot which one you liked. I thought it was spring onions. I was wrong. It's leeks. <clears throat> uh, nothing of use. I'm really hoping that she just has the red cabbage. I know it's only another 14 days in game before I can get the red cabbage actually. But the sooner I can have it grown, the better. Okay, Mr. Rosmodius, I've got some jelly for you. You look far too excited for that. Um, all right, well, that's five grand. Wow, that's a fat stack. You know what? While I'm here, you know what you want? You want maple syrup, mate. Unfortunately, I'm not going to give you any. Ha ha. It was mostly because of that really creepy thing he said. He observes the town so I can secret. Ugh. What a weirdo. 
I mean, living on the outskirts of town and then just sort of doing that, mm, just a little bit suspicious. But hey, uh, I want to not judge, but yeah, it's difficult not to. It's creepy as hell. Right, so let us deposit that. I've got enough hardwood now to get the horse stable on the go, which is good. And that's going to speed up things dramatically from here, moving on, because now I can charge around like a madman. Now, I'd forgotten how much wood I actually had uh, in my inventory, because, of course, having cut down a few of the hardwood trees, because they give you about eight, that's pretty good. But I, I, I know full well that I need a lot more because, of course, I need the house upgrade. And I believe that's 150 hardwood, as well as fat stacks of money and other things. But normal wood, much easier. Okay, construct me a farm building. I would like a stable, please, because I want a horsey. Now, normally, I tend to put the horse here near the entrance of the farm because I feel that that's a sensible place to put the damn thing. Unfortunately, I've put a tree in the way. However, I wonder if I can just slap it down there anyway and see what happens. Well, all right, the tree isn't growing anymore, so screw it, let's give it a go. Hopefully the trees will continue to fruit, and if not, I'll just chop down the apricot tree and I've got many of them anyway. I'm not too fussed about the apricots as things go. Now, I think I should return to town um, by using the carts, because that makes life a lot easier. There we go. I'm going to grab some of these, because forageable goodies that are vaguely valuable. Oh, and some stone. Oh, such, such a privilege to receive some stone. There we go. Get some apricots. Lovely stuff. And what next? Um, so I'm going to grab five more iridium bars. I'm going to get another upgrade. I think I'm going to upgrade the hoe next. Part of me does want to upgrade the watering can because I know that there is a likelihood of it raining during the spring, which I think is a slightly higher chance. Not sure off the top of my head. I could also be spouting nonsense. It wouldn't be the first time. Uh, I am quite wont to do that. There we go. We've got ourselves the iridium axe now. Getting places. Right, let's upgrade the next tool. Ah, screw it. Why not? Let's just do the watering can. I'm running a risk. I'm well aware of that fact. But once it's done, that's going to make life so, so much easier for areas that I haven't set the sprinkler systems on. And, of course, having the sprinkler systems in general makes life so much easier. So, yeah. Hardwood, truffle oil, and pine tar. That is quite expensive. As resources go, it's not cheap to do. Glazed yams out of a bin. Hmm. Uh, well, I don't actually have any kale growing, I'm afraid. But, you know, why not? Let's just grow some, because kale. It's a favourite of my guinea pigs, and uh, they're doing well. Because, of course, I did get commented on a while back that I need to mention them more in videos. Um... I did genuinely consider bringing a couple of them up whilst I was doing recording. However, the one that I quickly grabbed to have a little cuddle with whilst I was doing some recording decided that he was going to tell me all about his day very loudly. Um, and you could just hear in the background of the microphone just squeak, squeak, squeak. As adorable as that was, I was very much the... Oh, I should probably... I'll try and re-record when... He's taking a snooze because I didn't before I had guinea pigs. Right, you know, the little things you don't really know about animals is that they actually just take power naps throughout the day. They don't actually really conk out for a long period of time like we do. I think partly because they're prey animals, they tend to just they'll have like a 15 minute power nap and then zoom around like a mad, mad child and then 15 minute power nap. And that's just how they roll, which is very, very sweet. It's a big sign of the fact that they trust you when they actually fall asleep around you. And my goodness, but the first time my boys did that, oh, 
th there were some heart strings being pulled on that one. It was very much for oh my babies. Ah, I'm so manly. <laughs> Right, so I've got the kale being planted here. Now I know full well it's going to be a bit of a fiddle um, if it doesn't rain tomorrow, but for, for that area at least. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't. I can certainly live. Um, but these areas here, they're getting fertilized and I probably should have done that earlier. Curses. I also thought I bought more kale than I did apparently. Well, look at that. That is so quick. The, I forget how fast the Iridium tools actually cleave through things. Just how long it took me with the first axe that I had to cut down a tree versus that. It's just shocking. So let's put some ancient fruit on to make some wine there. That'll be lovely. Got some star fruit there. We've got some garlic. Screw it. Let's make some garlic press. Because that's exactly what you want. A vegetable juice of garlic. As much as I love garlic, I don't think I could drink it. <laughs> that is a um definitely a choice. Not sure if that's a particularly good one, but it's uh, definitely our choice. Okay, so let's put the sap away as well, because we don't need all that. Um, got all that iron that needs a smelting, so let's just do all of this as well. There we go, lovely stuff. Now with that iron all ready to go, I do also want to reorganize how I've got the smeltery set up at the moment. It's very much of a just get it there and get it done. I'm considering that actually having something a bit more organized, like in a shed, would probably be a bit more prudent. Yeah, the magma bomb will keep you healthy. Sorry, the mega bomb will keep you healthy. How? How? You make no sense. But then again, this is a game where fish talk to you. And uh, the last game that I think I played with a talking fish was The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And... Uh, she wanted to marry you. <laughs> Good old Princess Ruto. Very strange young lady. Now, let's quickly deposit the fertilizer away. We don't need that. We don't need the sap. Uh, don't need the wood. That's fine. We can put the refined quartz away as well. We've only got a couple more things in the inventory that are loitering that are just taking up space right now. Um, now, I really need to... You know what? I've got all those strawberry seeds. Hmm. Maybe. Just maybe. I should plant a buttload of strawberries. Because look at this. I've got spare land. I'm not doing anything with it. Let's just get it useful. Unfortunately, I also realized when I planted the... What are they called? Um, the blue jazz flowers. I totally put the, the hives in the wrong... Well, I put them too far away from the hives. So I probably should move the hives because that would be clever. Um, once again, never said I was a clever man. Um, generally, as that would make life a lot easier. There we go. So let's put that sprinkler system in place. We'll hoe up some of that land and we'll plant a few more strawberries. Excellent stuff. Now, slap that bit of, sand, of ground there as well. Have some more strawberries. And you know what? We don't need these blue jars anyway anymore. Let's just replace them with strawberries because I'm an idiot. I could have moved the hives. I just can't be bothered right now. I messed up. So, meh. What I probably should do is actually have a, a single plot of land on the other side, like right next to the, um, the scarecrow. So that then I can have just that being the provider of the flowery goodness of the hives. Or a more dedicated hive area. Would probably be a bit more sensible, methinks. Maybe that could be something I look at doing near the greenhouse. Because there is a little bit of land up by there, which I've been currently using to plant the hardwood trees. And, you know, I, I like having bees. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed keeping them. And... I think, in fairness, having um, a selection of bees 
with a, a, a little bit of a further distance from the house was a good idea because you don't want to interrupt and disturb the bees, which is why I can't have them where I live currently. My house, my garden is just far, far too small. But you want to be able to give them enough space that they are comfortable and that you don't interrupt them. Otherwise, you're prone to be stung, and I'm not keen on that, thanks very much. I don't know about you guys, but uh, being stung by bees is not pleasant. And uh, let's just quickly put some of these other kegs in. That's lovely. So we've got one more. There we go. And we're just going to hit that one with an axe. And we're going to put that one there. Lovely. So we're going to have some more star fruit wine. There we go. So let's pop those on the go. Excellent. So there we go. So we're really ramping up the industrial production of alcohol. Fantastic. That's exactly what we need. Um, right. So we're going to put on some truffle oil as well. Excellent. And what's the Queen of Sauce got to tell us? Hash browns. I think we already knew. Yeah, we already knew that. Not the end of the world. Well, of course we knew that because it's part of the uh, the dish of the day or something. Now, I think the other thing I need to learn how to make is the sea foam pudding or um, get already or just make some. Because if I'm going to catch the legend, which does require it to be raining, so that's the first issue. If I'm going to catch it, I'm going to need to stack everything in my favor. I need to really load the deck as high as I can because I want that fish. I want it to complete my fishing um, aquarium of bizarre, weird fish. There we go, some more iron. That's good. I think I need to do a smelt loaf of a, a bunch of copper as well. Now, let's see. We're nearly all through the iron, which is good. Now, I'm going to throw that in there and throw that one in there as well. Lovely stuff. Now, of course, we are coming towards the end of the day, so I just need to quickly double check. I haven't forgotten anything. Yes, there we go. Quickly grab those, grab that cheese. Now, I know I've used the cloth to make the mill already, but I'm debating if there's much use for it other than, well, the sewing machines and making the dyes. So maybe that's something I need to do. The, the custom crafted outfits is something I've never really dabbled with. So that's something I probably should have a go at at some point. However, we're very much coming towards the end of today's episode. And uh, just quickly fling those in the sales bin and be ready. So I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to this episode of the Walrus Plays Stardew Valley. As you can see, we're coming towards the end of season two. So year two of season one, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, soon enough, we'll actually start having Ginger, Far Ginger Island open up, which will be really exciting. So, please do tune in again next time I play Stardew Valley. And uh, please, like, subscribe, share to friends and family and others you wish to irritate with my damn voice. <laughs> and I'll catch you again.